Hey, I'm Seth with Land the House. I installed a micro hydro system and I have noticed there is some water escaping my intake box up here at the very top. So for example, this water right here that you see is escaping the intake box because right now our creek flow rate is pretty low in the middle of summer and a lot of the water is falling behind the box and going over here. And so I have tried a couple of things to try and get this to all go into the box, such as uh, putting some rocks in here to try and keep it into position, but it just has not worked very well. And so I had an idea. What if I take a bicycle inner tube, such as this 26 inch tube here, and I put it behind the box and kind of scoop the outside of it up to make a kind of a, a U-shaped cradle, fill it with air so it bridges that gap in there, and forces the water into the box. So that is the plan. We're gonna give it a try right now and see what happens. I think there's enough room behind here that I can get this inner tube all the way through. See what I can do here. Might have to find a stick and kind of guide it on through. Let's try this one. I would say we're losing somewhere around three or four gallons a minute behind this box. Nice. So I'm just gonna take this tube and kind of bring it up here so that it's sticking up above the box a little bit. As you can see, the inner tube is now behind the box and filled up partially. It seems to be getting a lot more water that was spilling out over here. Um, there's still some spilling over which may be coming out of leaks of the box, but uh, it is much reduced. So that means we are getting more water into the box here and hopefully we'll increase our output at the bottom some. A little bonus footage here. This is my neighbor's turbine. He's made a little housing for it. Uh, currently he's just got one jet running on this side, but uh, the housing just kind of keeps rain off of this uh, turbine. During the uh, sunlight hours, he uses his solar panels and turns the turbine on at night. Now, sometime in the future, uh, winter time, when we have a lot more water around, he may be using this longer than just at night. But anyway, just thought I'd give you a little update on how his turbine is doing. So far, I'm really pleased with this inner tube. It seems to be catching the rest of the water. Let's just go down here and see what the overflow of my silt catchment looks like. I need to bring a five gallon bucket up here to do some testing on my overflow. Uh, but currently there's enough coming out the top of the barrel and over here on this side that I can still run one jet down at the turbine. So I'm soon going to be replacing a couple of my quarter inch jets or nozzles with a couple of 3 16 inch and that should allow me to kind of fine tune my water's usage here so if i turn on a single quarter inch nozzle it uses about 12 gallons a minute and then i can turn on a 3 16 and hopefully get my wattage up to 250 watts but anyway i just want to show you my idea of putting a bicycle inner tube between the intake box and the rock to help capture that last little bit of water here in the middle of summer when it matters the most. Thanks for watching. If you have a couple of comments, leave those down below and I will see you in the next video.